What's going on everybody? Jason with Tennessee Mountain Homestead and I'm back out in the shop messing around with the tractor. Um, this is not going to be anywhere near a full length video. I just wanted to give a quick update on uh, just a modification that I've made to this setup. So if you look down right in here, I had an idler pulley right here where my finger is in this big 5 eighths hole and it was pulling tension, wrapping the belt more around the uh, transmission pulley like this. It ain't there right now because I've been fabricating. Anyway, I liked it well enough. I'm going to back up and look at this now. But here's my idler arm, my idler pulley arm that's under spring tension normally. Well, it could almost, under normal with the spring tension on it, it wasn't enough to go, all, it was just riding on the spring. It wasn't enough to go all the way up and touch the frame like it, it can do. It can touch the frame when it gets all the way up in its top position of travel. Not when the belt when that idler pulley was here, that back idler. So I didn't want to drill another hole lower or anywhere near this hole. So what I did was, come on over here, I'll show you. I made this here idler pulley adjustment. So now I'll be able to put that right where on the center line of where the other idler pulley was but only now I can add tension or not tension I can take up some of that slack so that the uh, the tensioner arm will be down more it won't be able to even if the belt after the belt breaks in and stretches it'll always just be under spring tension it won't be able to max out and touch anything and the reason the reason I went this route with this adjustable uh, idler pulley set up. The reason I did this is because I did not want to remake another um, tension, tensioner pulley arm. That thing, is, it's a done deal. I want to leave it alone. And so I wanted to take up more slack. It's a 93 inch belt. A 92 inch belt is too small. 94 inch belt obviously is way too big. 93 is the belt that I need, the belt that I've designed this thing around. And I just needed to take up a little bit more slack out of it so that tension spring arm will ride on the spring and not come into contact with anything regardless of how much the belt breaks in so that's what I made it's gonna have as you can see you can see how it works it's a coupler nut welded to the top of this 5 8 grade 8 bolt inside of this uh, C channel it's got guides so it can't turn it's got a captive 3 8 rod a threaded rod that that you know when you turn either side it'll it'll move the idler pulley um, shaft up and down it can move I don't know maybe about an inch and a half or so on the top side it's gonna have this uh, shaft collar welded to a piece of plate that fits in there so it can't turn you'll have your idler pulley I'll have another shaft collar just for a spacer and then I'll have a locking, a nylon hex nut. This is just a regular nut. And then that, I got four bolts. It'll bolt to the frame. I got my two inches from the frame to the center of the pulley, because two inches is the magic number on this, on this setup with the belt center. And that's it. I wanted to share that in case anybody's following along. I don't want to, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff off camera and, uh, you know, uh, surprise you know this works but you didn't see how well there you did see it and uh thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff and uh we'll see you later all right i fooled you i couldn't let you guys go without showing you at least how it works in, in action so everything's back in place the spring tensions the spring is on the tensioner is right here and as you can see i got a little bit of movement and before I could push it hard and it would make contact with the frame up here, it would hit. But now I can dial, I can dial more take up in the belt and this thing now doesn't have a chance at making contact up here. Plus it's more horizontal and so any kind of a shock load, this will absorb it with the spring and the belt might live. So anyways. 
get it, get it, get a close up in here, Stefan. See how that works. See that? And once I get it to where I like it, I just tighten up this here nut, and it fixes it. And it compresses the compresses it to the back side of this piece of steel that I made. This this piece of uh, machinery, and uh, that's it. And now you got a fixed pulley. Now I don't have to gusset this one either. So, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Jason with Tennessee Mountain Homestead. Stay tuned for more action. See you later.